Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be showing you how to get a face cam on any iOS device with a jailbreak. So this works on iOS 11, iOS 12, and on any device. And this is basically with a face cam. So first off, I want to say that it's not really a face cam. It's the closest thing I could find to a face cam. I've looked everywhere on YouTube and there's nothing on iOS besides like AntRack and AirShout, which I mean AirShout now is taken down and AntRack hasn't been updated and AntRack only works on iPhone 5s, iPhone SE, iPhone 5, 5c, and maybe below. Um, just on that kind of like that kind of screen. It's weird because anything above that does not work. Like since it's a different screen, so like anything above basically the iPhone 5s, it will not work on. So or I mean, it works on iPhone SE too because iPhone SE is like an iPhone 5s with just you no know, upgraded chip and all that kind of stuff, um, faster processor and stuff. So basically, if you don't have one of those devices, you can't get a screen recorder with a face cam, which is really unfortunate because I'm. Google, you get it, or Android, you get it really, really easily. But on iPhones, you just can't get it for some reason. I don't know why they haven't made that up yet, but I don't know why it's so hard to do that. But just that's just how it is. So um, if you don't have a face cam, which most of you probably won't, because you don't have that device, and you, that's with a jailbreak too. So I'm just showing you guys. You have that device. You just go to search. It's from the Big Wash Repo, and you just search up Ant Rec, and this is it right here. And you just install. It. That's what I'm actually using right now, and that's how I like the to touch pointer. But if you want to um, the touch pointer, I know a lot of people ask for that. Um, you lose, it's just show touch. It does work. I don't know why there's an etch there, but it does work. All right, so now getting back to the video. Like I said, this isn't really a face cam, but it's the best thing I could find to a face cam. So basically, what you guys want to do is just actually go over to search. Actually, right, so you want to add the repo, guys. You want to add a repo.hackeriphone. Here's, guys, repo.hackeriphone.org. You want to add that repo. And then once you guys do that, you guys want to go to search called Floating Doc Plus. There it is right there. And it's the uh, one with the blue. That's the hacker iPhone repo. And you guys want to install it so once you install it basically this is a split screen multitasking tweak and how you guys could do get your face cam is it's kind of like a little complicated but basically when you device your range you have this dock on the bottom and then yes you go over to your settings and then you guys see scroll down to the tweak section and you see flow and dark plus oops flow and dark plus you tap on it and use all your settings for it but basically i have a video on that guys i'll probably link that in the card section so you guys can um tap on it and watch it on this tweak individually but basically, this is the face cam video. So basically, how you guys want to do this is you want to open up your camera app. And then you see that right now, I have the camera app open. And then you open up another application. Now, I'm actually going to open up, let's say I want to open Safari. I'll open Safari. So now, I want to turn your device to a landscape mode. So I just turn over like that. So it turns like that. And you want to pull it from the bottom like you pull up the control center. And this should pop up. And you want to hold the camera. And you want to drag it. And there you guys go. So now you can do two things at once. And I'm going to do that. And now you can see me. So now I have a face cam and I'm screen recording. You can just, for the screen recorder, you can obviously just use your built in iOS screen recorder with the audio on and it works fine. And now I'm gonna do, some, I'm gonna do something too. Unfortunately, you cannot like make this size smaller, which that's the one thing that would make it perfect. Um, but you could do that and move it to the side and you can make it smaller by doing like that. But it does push you off. And if you wanna like turn your device back over, once you do this, you guys you can push it up. It does take pictures, so it's kind of like annoying because it's like right there. You have to pull that bar up uh, like that. It's kind of weird. So I, I'm kind of doing this and have a face cam. It's um, the best I could get, unfortunately. And when I do press the home button, I have to do this with every single app individually. So it loses it. And on the home screen, you cannot tilt. It doesn't tilt over, unfortunately. Um, so you can't do this on the home screen. But I just want to show you it because I thought it was better than nothing. And uh, yeah, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. And peace. And just... This does work with every single app. You just do the same process I did for that Safari. You do it with any app. Big guys, peace.